Hello and welcome to another, well actually this will be the first episode of Extended Timeline Modern Day AI Only Battle and I'm going to be going through the commentary. I already had started one of these earlier, um, like last year. I only did two episodes before I dropped it. I'm getting back into YouTube and I want to stay consistent. This is one of the series that I'm going to start as long as a couple other that others that you may have seen on my channel. If anyone knows how I'd like to do this series, you know that I will start at the modern day time, and the only thing I do is I switch all the nations off of secular and force them to be a religion, because I actually like to see cultural changes and stuff. So all of the nations have been switched to the religion that their capital province is. So the US is Protestant, um, you know, Canada's Protestant, we go over to France, and they would be non-religious, but I do make exceptions for like if one province, which France's capital, Paris, is a religious. Everything else is Catholic. They're Catholic. London is Anglican. You know, Germany, they were Protestant, so they get Protestant. The only one I did different was I thought it would be interesting to have Chechia be Hussite. But besides that, everything is capital, or in a couple situations, like I said, when the capital is irreligious, it's just whatever they would have been. So, Orthodox, uh, Protestant. I had a choice, like with these nations down here, so North Korea, Confucian, and then Seoul, I actually went Protestant because of the name. The, this side seems to be Protestant. This side seems to be Mahayan. Ma ha. Mahayan. I, I can't. I can't speak. And we are ready to go. So I'm going to do it up to three speed. It's obviously current wars is the Israel-Palestine conflict and the Russia-Ukrainian war. So we'll switch back over. Russia and Ukraine are at war, so as soon as this happens, I expect Ukraine to basically die, and this will be a peace very soon, because they're already 100% pieced out, or uh, occupied, sorry, and the moment I unpause, I imagine Israel is about to annex the entire state of Palestine. I'm sure that won't cause any issues in the region. None at all, but we'll go. Three speed seems fine to start, and correct immediately Israel annexed Palestine and immediately is working to spread the Jewish faith in the province. Wow. Who? <laughs> yeah, that won't cause any issues for anyone. Th this entire region. We'll just ignore that for right now. I'll keep switching between this South Africa versus Zulu? Who are you? Zulu? Where did you pop up? What religion are they? Oh, they're fetishist. Well, I don't expect them to be around. They're not going to win this war against South Africa. No way they win that war against South Africa. Uh, we're actually going to up the four speed. My computer's beefy enough to handle it so we'll just focus on the ukraine russia war here for right now kiev is going to fall in a moment there it goes what are they at for war score always oh, sorted by this 44 indonesia against east timor india against sri lanka and germany against Dutch and Polish. Okay, this one's interesting. Oh, Germany has claims on like everything. Germany, I imagine, takes some land here. Why is Ukraine focusing on taking Kaliningrad? I don't. That's a weird place to focus. So Indian, Indonesia did indeed annex East Timor, that's not super surprising. 
India, full annex Sri Lanka, okay. India is securing the region. I'll have to fix this, they uh, became, oh, they did it themselves, look at that. These guys did too. Some nations, I didn't, I forgot to disable the thing, but as soon as I'm done with the this session, I'll go through and I'll just switch their religion back. Wait, Germany switched off of Protestant to Catholic, huh? I wasn't expecting that. No, that was that's I've never seen them do that. They switched back. <laughs> oh, Indonesia at war with Papua New Guinea now, and the British with British West Indies. I guess they've been taking parts of the Caribbean against Ivory Coast and Liberia. Germ. German British colony oh yeah they took that's fair hmm. they almost full annexed Papua New Guinea close they still have these on here Papua New Guinea had expanded into the Solomon Islands French change government form of Mauritanius and Madagascar. Germany is losing to Poland and the Netherlands. And Ukraine is almost full occupied. Well, Russia doesn't have... I was going to say Russia doesn't have, any more, have a lot of units left, but they have a just a casual 140 stack sitting in an attrition spot with a supply of 15 in Belarus. That's not surprising at all. That's AI behavior right there. They're not even allied. Russia is allied to India. That's it. Oh, China has tributary states? A bunch, actually. Kazakhstan. Uh, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Mongolia, Nepal, Bhutan, ally to Indonesia. Japan doesn't have any allies. The U.S. is allied to Canada. Canada is allied only to the U.S. That's a normal, normal game. They both have claims on each other. Venezuela, Venezuelan purge of Yanan heresy. So they don't like the religion there of Catholic and reformed. Ecuador switched, Panama switched back. Couple nations, because I forget to. I imagine this is about to be a full annex. Oh, and I forgot to say this for regions. I am picking the US to be the dominant region by the end of this game. I'm not sure when I'll go to. But U.S. will control North America. I think Brazil will be the do number one down in South America. In Europe? I think if I'm going to pick somebody, it's going to be... Ooh. Let me think. In... Asia, though, I'm going to go India. Normally, you would say China, but like I think it's going to be India this game. Africa? Part of me thinks it's going to be Nigeria here. So that's what I'm going to pick. And then for Europe, I'm going to pick the British as the winner in Europe. So that is just whoever is highest on the Great power list, I guess, by the end of the game. So right now, China's winning Asia. The U.S. is winning North America. Uh, Germany is winning Europe. Brazil's winning South America. 
and I'd have to actually go look and see who's winning Africa. Um, the German AI is not even attacking most of these nations. Spain against Senegal, but it's a changed form government, so that's not that important because they can't take any land. Ew. How can the British... Why would the British take land? How is that even possible? The British took land inside the... They don't have a coastal province. Which is so weird. Oh. Yeah, you, how do you... Why would you take land inside of Africa but not actually the coast like how do you ever support how are you supposed to support this I mean like I guess they have units in here whole like 70,000 troops um, the religions are starting to finally get fixed throughout the, the world where they're consolidating the regions and then they can actually convert provinces. That's the main, like, to their cultures. That's the main reason I like to have religion enabled and not secularism, is because they'll never convert. So, like, you just have the standard world uh, cultures if you never have any, um, you know, changes. They just, everything slowly becomes irreligious. So you miss out on the entire religious aspect of the game. And you also miss out on the entire cultural aspect of the game because nobody can convert and nobody can, nobody can convert religion and thus nobody can convert culture so i like to re-enable both of them so that is what's happening here we got all the nations fixing their religion the borders look pretty nice now you can actually see where the countries are like here's tanzania here's kenya you know DRC's coming through. Uh, Angola. Um, we got South Africa, Namibia, Botswana, Mozambique. I'll have to, like I said, fix some of these, but that won't be too hard. I'm interested to see religions, cultures by the end here. Germany is slowly reconverting itself. The British have a lot to do. Husite has fully taken back over in Chechia, which is what I wanted to see, just because I, you never see Husite, and they didn't have a religion because their capital was non-religious. I guess I could have given them Catholic, but I just thought Husite would be cooler. These three have all fixed themselves. Catholic, which I always find this interesting, is that Estonia's Orthodox. Latvia is Protestant, and Lithuania is Catholic. So they're all different, despite being, you know, so close to each other in the same region and relatively similar cultures in a way. I mean, it is true that Estonian is quite different from Latvia and Lithuania. I remember for a brief amount of time, I actually was learning some forms of Estonian. Uh, some forms. I was learning Estonian. I can't recite any of it now, but there was a brief time when I was was learning it. So Russia is losing a war to Latvia and Sweden. Which, I guess they're not actually losing. They're technically winning. Turkey is at war with Iraq. Argentina or Chile. And Brazil at war with Paraguay. Venezuela in full annex. Huh. They will probably full annex while Brazil is beaten. Beating Turkey. Holy crap. 
Brazil is beating Argentina. I opened this up, saw Turkey, and was like, Brazil is beating Turkey. This would be a war. But no, Turkey is beating Iraq. We got a pretty solid... I kind of hope Kuwait gets some land. That'd be cool. It's revenge from Desert Storm. Pakistan. It's a... Okay, yeah, Turkey and Kuwait versus Iraq, Georgia, and Pakistan. Well, we'll see. It'd be cool if Georgia got some land too, but I don't think they will while well, that stack there's just got wiped. Oh, Turkey took Armenia. You know, that, that never happened either. That, uh... I don't know, Turkey doesn't know what happened to Armenian, the Armenian people. Israel is allied to Turkey and Cyprus, huh? Oh, and Egypt likes Israel. That's not realistic. Let's see. Sweden. So that's still Turkey against Iraq, the British against Mauritania. Change government though. Oh, Russia's changing. It's probably gonna take some land, I, I imagine. Yep, Argentina's losing to Chile because of because of that Brazil thing. They were Brazil took some land. I imagine Argentina will. Re yeah, they are. They're going to reconsolidate, and they're probably going to full annex, if not almost full annex Chile. But Brazil definitely took some land from them, which is going to cause problems. Like, they're going to have to get stronger by going up through the coast, I guess. Is... I feel like these random one provinces, is Brazil threatening nations for war and they're giving in is that what happened with these two i think that's what happened here i've never really seen oh the mexicans are invading arizona and new mexico and colorado just about uh-oh This is why Trump wanted to build a wall, boys. Otherwise, this was gonna happen in the year 2032. This is the classic USAI. The US declared the war on Mexico, Belize, and Guatemala, and then Nicaragua. Turkey's gonna beat Iraq. Uh, the UK's gonna beat Mauritania. Argentina's gonna beat Chile. Russia is gonna probably beat Latvia. Germany's going to lose to Netherlands and Poland. But. Though that's kind of funny. I don't think Mexico can take any land. I mean, if Mexico did, that would be funny. So uh, there must have been some small wars where the British took some islands. Yeah. That's okay. I think this is not not going good for my, my pick. I picked the U.S. just because I, I don't think they ever really expand. They very rarely. Sometimes they take a couple islands in the Caribbean or the Pacific. Like, uh, yeah, they, they do things like this. But they're like, okay, I want the Bahamas. But they don't do anything else besides that for, like, the whole rest of the game. So... Wow, the UK is losing and gaining land periodically throughout. What the? All right, this whole region here, the Gold Coast, Ivory Coast, whatever. Which one's which? Ivory Coast, I think. The Ivory Coast was a nation in here. But they, uh... This whole area is a mess. Let's see, let's see. Ah! 
Good job. Good job, Netherlands. You took some land. A couple provinces. I mean, four provinces they took. Munster. From Germany. And then Germany obviously had to release Saxony. Four random provinces. That I'll have to make Catholic later. I imagine they'll just keep converting. Yep, US is losing. Saudi Arabia is now at war with Iraq. Well, everyone's at war with Iraq. Iran's at war with Iraq. Syria's are at war with Iraq. Yep, Russia is going to win. Brazil is going to beat Guyana, and then Portugal is going to take Moroccan land. Interesting. Spain did too. Spain took some North North African, the little tip up here, because they didn't have these three provinces to start. They're converting it. And now Portugal is. Oh, they also took Ifni. They do that. I've actually noticed them. They like to take this province here because of the Canaries. Uh, Portugal. They took... They took a good old Cape Verde. Oh, Britain. British Ivory Coast. Random British provinces through here. I mean, <laughs> Gambia is expanded. A uh, really, this border gore kind of in this region is pretty bad. But I guess we'll see how that goes. I hope somebody consolidates. Maybe it will be the British. Okay, Portugal. I see you. That's most of Morocco. The rest might get eaten up by Algeria, potentially. Or Morocco later. Or Spain. I guess they do border each other still. But Morocco is probably out. Let's see, anything else here? I'm gonna end this recording session as soon as I think the American War ends. Wow, they have particularists. They are getting sieged everywhere. Except for Texas. You know, Mexico went up and around Texas. Everything but Texas. Uh, I want to wait for the American War to put, end. And then I would like to finish the Latvian War, but it might not. Depends how long this goes. Brazil is still fighting Guyana now, or Suriname, or one of the two. Bolivia, my bad, whoops. Oh wow, you left him at a one province minor. That was mean. Wow, so did, did Ar Argentina left Chile as a one province minor too. Why'd they take these two but leave this? I don't know, the AI does AI things. Someone's got to stop Brazil, otherwise they are, they're going to win. There's a Protestant province here? That must have been through an event. But, yeah, Kigana reform, that didn't last long, they got converted pretty fast. Now Suriname is the only reformed nation in all of the New World, and the only reformed nation left in this sea of Catholic. Protestant is spreading through North America, specifically the U.S. and Canada. Once again, it's not surprising. It's also spreading throughout South Korea. Confucian says. How are those? American War still going on? Russian War did end. 
Okay. And yep, there is no longer a significant Latvia. I guess they weren't super significant, but they almost were full annex. They're also one province minor, and I imagine Russia invades them afterwards and takes them. Otherwise, I could see Denmark invading Sweden uh, is their ally, so they won't. But normally, a, a Sweden would jump on something like this. Estonia might, if they feel up for it, but they probably are too scared of Sweden to do that. So now just waiting on this American war as America gets totally destroyed by rebels. They are everywhere. Particularists, 53,000, 62, 44, uh, 55, another 24. The American Particularists are running amok. Come on. This war, I'm up in the speed. Come on, finish this war. A lot more wars broke out. Italy versus Algeria. Portugal changed government of Senegal. British changed government of Benin. Saudi Arabian Omani. Oh, Nigeria against Yataga. I don't even know who that is. It was a little province here. I saw it. Okay. Well, I mean, that's a little bit extra land, I guess, for Nigeria, which also almost full annexed Niger, except for, like, one province. AI seems to like doing that. And now they're immediately worth, worth at, with Mali. Oh, Britain destroyed Ghana again. Saudi Arabia full annexed Oman. That's not super surprising. And the US and Mexico did peace out. As soon as it hits 2038, I'm going to end the recording here. Yeah, I don't know. America's having a rough time with these rebels. West Indies formed. Wow, they uh, invaded the British West Indies and actually won. I forgot that they could basically form immediately after taking like one or two provinces. Okay. But that is it for the first few episodes. Um, a lot is happening. Actually, Brazil is getting destroyed by Venezuela right now. And... I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to like and subscribe. Manchuko. Things are just... Things are developing. China is... Maybe starting to have issues. Saudi Arabia is consolidating in the region. Turkey is consolidating in the region. Germany lost the key war. The Russians are... Losing currently to Belarus. We'll see. The British are taking Africa. Same with the Portuguese and the Spanish. Brazil as in a power struggle over South America with Venezuela and Argentina. The USA is the most rebelled nation in the world. Cl not even close. They've got tons of rebels. Most dangerous place to live, America. Besides that, nothing else super key. Africa is slowly, slowly consolidating. And the religions are getting themselves fixed. But that's all. Until next time, peace.